All right, y'all already know what it is. Live, uncut, unedited. All right. A late night, late night, late night, late night, early in the morning. Y'all already know what it is. It's been a thing going downtown. I was down there for at least two to three hours. And it's a lot going on, people. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Now, I was saying earlier, I'll take a bunch of teenagers downtown, running in the street, blocking the sidewalk off or something like that, opposed to gun violence, shooting and robbing and looting and doing all those things like that. So, people, those of you that know that you have teenagers, please, please, Get on your duty because you you said, well, Martin, I know it's not my teenager. He or she, they won't be shooting. They probably will not be shooting downtown. But the bad company that's around and gangs coming from all over. You have some suburban teenagers out there, some west side, some south side, some north side, and they all come together, and you know when a bunch of unsupervised teenagers, what's going to happen? So, people, I was down there, and I'm going to tell you, the last shooting that happened, I had just left. I was right there. Right there, people. And I'm like, man, I didn't even feel comfortable videoing. I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to video down there. I'm just going to be down here and all that. So, I don't know if somebody's calling me. Hello. What's up, Martin? What's up? Who this? Man, this fight. Okay. All right. What you want to talk about? Man, I got a, I got a question. Man. No, if it ain't concerning what I'm talking about, I don't want. I, I can't entertain it right now, cause I want to talk about exactly what we talk. Huh? What's talking about? This? I'm talking about downtown, brother. That's what I'm talking about. Can you hear me? Hello? That's what I'm talking about downtown right now. All right. Thank you so much, brother. Listen, people, some of us, not right now, y'all hear me. I'm listening to the scanner, so I'm just, I might not be able to get no sleep tonight because I'm monitoring five people got shot. I mean, that's at one time. So what they've been doing is, this is what they've been doing. They've been watching the cameras downtown. And once they see the youth, the teens, hit their waist, hold their waist, then they, they, they begin to call them in. A lot of you young teenagers, you're down there with your face mask on, you can't see, you're looking for trouble. You make it hard for those that want to come down there and have a little fun. Maybe a little unruly, but you make it hard for those. And see, people, when you get all sides of towns come together it's a lot going on people this group against that group this gang against that gang people it's a lot going on downtown um i'm like this we've been feeling this for decades i'm hating it that it happened downtown but maybe now downtown can understand what we go through in these communities so i mean and let me say another thing i see a lot of those young teenagers down there half naked Daisy Duke shorts, cleavage, walk around with bras that look broad. You call them sports bras. I don't know what they're calling them. Hair weave all the way down to their back, braids, lashes, and all that. Ain't nothing but some babies, 15, 16, 17, trying to dress young. Old, I mean. Live, uncut, unedited. Where you call it from, Carla? Hello? Yeah, what's up, Carla? What you want to talk about? 400 East K, 400 East. Okay, let me hear it. 400 East, 400 East K. Oh, okay. All right. Live on Cut Unedited, people. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hey. Hey, Marty. How you doing? Hey, this is I'm doing good. How about you? All right. You know what we're talking about, right? That's Marty. 
I couldn't be one of them parents. And I had a child. Oh, okay. Would you hold on, Ruth? Hold on. Hello? Hello? Hi, this is Live on Cut. Live on Cut, unedited. Hi, I was wanting to say that if the police lock up any minors under 18, that they should lock the parents up for 90 days. And I think that will stop a lot of teens from being downtown when the parents lose their jobs or whatever they got going on because they're watching their children. Why, why are you so harsh? No, I'm not being harsh. I, I live downtown. I work downtown. And it's ridiculous. They vandalize people's cars. They're doing all types of things. And I just think it's not right. Okay, now let me ask you a question. Now, yes. if they do what you want them to do, lock the parents up, but what about the other children? What about them? Where where are they gonna go? Is especially if they're from a single parent family. Then that means other families gonna have to take care of them, and maybe they'll start thinking about what their parents gotta go through by them not listening and following directions. It's twelve it's twelve forty at night. They should not be outside. Period. Okay, I understand. Thank you for you be safe downtown. Now I was down that day. That I didn't feel I wasn't feeling safe down there. I w I don't feel safe every day. It's oh. getting hot. Okay, well. Well, you know, in my world, you know, when you live in the hood, you'll never feel safe because it, it can go up any minute, but it is. Thank you so much, sweetie. Thank you Thank so you much. Sir. All right, everybody. Bye -bye. Yeah. Hello, I'm sorry about it. Go ahead, sister. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, how you doing? Go ahead, sister. Come on, talk to us. Okay, Mark. Anyway. They, bl they blowing me up again. Hold on. Lord, have mercy. Y'all calling. Carla, come on. Talk to me. What you want to talk about, Carla? What I want to talk about. I'm listening. What I want to talk about is the violence in Chicago with the children. Okay. Where are the parents? Okay. It is a parent on this lab right now that needs to get their child. Y'all hear that parents? It should not be that many kids downtown. Yes, it is. It's a lot of them. And all that Where are y'all children? Where are y'all? Well, let me let me just say this. Let me say this real quick. If if anybody called me, call ID. I'm not going to take your call. I want to say this. If you don't hear from your child tonight, if you don't hear from your child tonight, that means they're locked up. Whether they 18, 19, or teenage, they're 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 going to be locked. They're locked up. They taking them from different districts and all that. So that that's what's going on. Go ahead, ma'am. I don't understand why we all could watch this nigga all be on social media and see all these children down here. And I still see no parents. I still don't know why all these children just running wild like Mm-hmm. Well, let me just say I, this. Let me play let me play devocate devocate advocate for a minute. Not all the children down there acting rudely. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, because I was down there for at least two to three hours. I wasn't filming, and everybody wasn't acting ugly. But then you had those. Oh, let me say, then you had those women. Listen, ladies, I want to say this. A lot of you ladies down there holding guns for these little young gun slinkers. You better be careful, too. Let me say this, because the police identify somebody holding their waist, and they suspect them having a gun, but when they when they went into the restaurant and he didn't have the gun on him. So I'm figuring that he passed the gun to probably one of them females. So y'all want to be tough females. Go ahead and get a felony on your record. And, and I guarantee that guy, he going on to the next female. Go ahead, sister. Go ahead. Hello. All right. I ain't letting nobody else talk. Go ahead, sister. Come on, talk to her. Go ahead. I didn't hear you on hold for long. Go ahead. You the first caller. Go ahead, my sister. Hello. Live uncut, unedited. Hey, this live uncut. Yeah, that's it. What you want to talk about? I want to talk about because I keep getting on here and I'm hearing everybody keep trying to blame these parents. But some of these kids, they got good parents, but they want to get out here on these streets and do dumb shit to make their parents look like they ain't come from no good home. But what they need to do is grab these kids, build a boot camp, and put their ass in there for about six months and work them real hard. 
because the shit that's going on out here with these kids is ridiculous. And I mean, it's not just the kids, it's big ass teenagers, 21 year olds. It's not just kids. So you can't always blame it on the parents because you got kids that come from good homes, but they want to come out here and still do reckless ass shit in these streets. Okay. Okay. I got to go. Thank you so much, sister. Thank you. Live on cut unedited. Go ahead. Yes, I'm calling. I'm calling on behalf because I own the donut shop, the Dr. Donut. Okay. And the kids, the kids come down, and they get the ice. They get the ice coffee, and they throw the ice coffee, and they get the donuts, and they trash my place. Wow, wow, that's terrible. Because I did hear about them came in. I know they came in a 7-Eleven, and I seen some of them come in a Dunkin' Donuts, but I didn't go in behind them. Yeah. Yeah, the Dunkin' Donuts in the subway. That's me. Okay, that's you. And the, okay. And the, that's and and the, they, they come in and get the coffee, and the iced coffee, and they throw it in the and and I give these kids donuts free sometimes. Right. But then some of the other kids, they come and get the iced coffee, they go to the the subway, and they they just they mess up my place. Wow. You know what? Can I say? Can I make a suggestion to you? If I were you, it may cost you, but once I see they downtown like that, I just lock my doors. I mean, I, I know you're open for business, but if they can't respect your business, I, I wouldn't even let them in. I know, I, I know, I know you on here. You 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 open up business, make money. You're paying high rent downtown, man. It's just they're unruly, man. I, they, this I, is the coffee and the ice coffee oh. and the donuts, and we we got muskins and. Donuts and muskins and donuts everywhere. The kids come, they get to buy the donuts, waste money, then go to subway, waste the money, and then get my iced coffee. Then they waste the throw it outside, throw it on my glass in the cups. Don't do anything, buddy. I don't know. Wow, that's terrible, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Listen, parents, do you hear that? Here's a business owner. He owns the Donker Donuts and the Subway. And our children come in his establishment both of the establishment, and just be unruly, getting coffee, throwing it all over the place, and just, y'all hear that, parents? Yes, your child. The Dunkin', Dunkin', the Dunkin' Donuts, the Dunkin' Donuts, and they did the Subway. The Dunkin' Donuts, Subway, everyone wants the donuts, and everyone wants the Subway. Donuts in the Subway. Parents, y'all hear that? It's a business owner on the live right now. You hear that? So don't act like you don't hear this. Where is your sons and your daughters at? In my Dunkin' Donuts. In mm. the subway. Mm. That's where the kids are. Mm. Wow. Wow. That's what you, you ask the question. I tell you. They yeah. are in the Dunkin' Donuts and the subway. I believe you. The Dunkin' Donuts and the subway. Get in a sweet long. Get in, get in those monskins and get in the ice coffee and this monskin. And they go over to my subway. Then they try my subway. People, that's that's no excuse for that. I mean, that type of behavior, people, come on now. I got to go, buddy. I okay, thank go. you so much. Thank you. All right. Live on Cut Unedited. Go ahead, caller. Hey, I was calling in because I was watching the lab. And a lot of these kids have been ruling the whole year. And when I say the whole year, these have been the kids that's been doing these half speeds. And it's all because of this whole COVID shutdown. They haven't been in school. And I know this personally because my I have a little sister. So I check on her daily. And when I call her, she's barely even at school. Hmm. Wow. This is all because of this COVID shutdown. They bored. They want to do everything that they see on TV now. And... I personally kind of agree with the other lady when she said that they need to lock them up and put them in boot camp in some type of way because they need something to do. Okay. Well, maybe their parents need to join them when they come downtown. Yeah. So uh, these kids from from downtown, these are not only kids from the inner I know, city. These are also suburbs. kids from the suburbs. And it's not it's just that. black kids either. People, it's white kids as well and Mexicans is all type. They all in. It just look. It's more blacks. It's more blacks. Okay. Exactly. Right. Right. Okay, sister. Thank you so much. I got to go to the next caller. Thank you. 
Live on cut unedited. Go ahead, Carla. Hey, you hey. know what's going on? These kids ain't scared of nothing. They ain't scared of their parents. They not scared of authority. They not scared of nothing. These kids nowadays so disrespectful. It don't make no sense. Well, what are we gonna do I as parents? This, where y'all strong black women at? Come on now. Listen. Well, okay, where you strong black men at? That's Come where on we now. at. Well, where, where, where listen, we at? We 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 it so take hold a on. village and it literally. Take hold on, village. sister. You know, hold, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it now. Go we ahead. so busy competing against each other. Who got all yeah, the power? Exactly. The man and the woman. I'm telling y'all people. I'm telling you. And, and I know this, is, sister. I'm, I'm talking. Hold on. Go ahead. I, this is the listen. We know this is the year of uh, the Aquarius. The women got it going on. We respect that. But listen, some gonna have to give. Something is going to have to. Some going to have to give. Or not listen. All our children are going to have felonies. They're going to have records. Yeah. They're going to yeah. get gunned down by the police. They're going to get we mistreated. So worried about who got the best lashes. The men worried about, let me find a woman with the biggest butt. I'm going to get the BB, this and that. These kids don't listen to nothing. But I'm going to tell you this, and I sound might sound crazy, but if you run in front of my car, I pray that you make it because I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. I'm sorry. I don't even go that way. It's sad. They keep saying, though, they need this. They need job readiness. They got so many job readiness programs out here for these kids. They don't want to work. They want to scam. They want to get these loans. They want to do what they want to do. You know what? They took prayer out of school. They messed up. They stopped letting parents whoop their children. They messed up. The government has messed these kids up, and I, I, I don't know anything I can do now. It's pray. No, you got you got to do more do. than pray, sister. We we've yeah. been praying for four hundred years now. We'll, we'll we got to do more than pray. We got to do more than pray keep now. Praying. We got to put some action behind the prayer. We sure do. Okay, put some action. Put put your hand on them kids. That's put it. Put your <laughs> hand around them. Okay, sister. Knock them out. Oh, thank you so much. All right, okay. appreciate you. All right. Live on cut. Come on, call. I found it. Let you in. Where you calling from? Well, what's up, Martin? I'm calling, I'm calling from Chicago. Okay. You know what we're talking about, right? Uh, yeah, the children. I'm still talking about the teenagers. That's right. Come on with it. Oh, uh, yeah. To me, it's a, it's a community thing. Man. It's, it's our fault. You know, it's everybody's fault. You, you, you can't point no one thing at this situation. Because first off, this ain't the first thing this, this, this happened. What people don't understand when these little kids get on social media, what they do, it become a trend and it get worse and worse and worse. At first, it was just a little right that they do. Yeah, go downtown, just do whatever they do. Like they said, and keep adding on. It's like four people just got shot right here on Adams Estate. It's five, I think, totally. One wrong. killed it. Yeah. More gunshots, gunshots that went up downtown. If, if you notice, as a person in Chicago, and these are all kids, why everybody not trying to see where their kids are at a certain time of night? Calling your kids, where you at? You know what I'm saying? It's it's our fault. You know, I can't I can't blame no one in particular person. I can't blame no mother. I can't blame no father. It's just people don't care. And that's why the kids doing what they're doing. They kids, they got kid mindset. They got teenager okay. mindset. Okay, brother. Thank you so much, brother. I'm gonna take this next caller. No problem. All right. Go ahead, caller. What you doing up? Call it, go ahead. Okay, what they need to start doing is reinforcing curfew for these kids. Okay. When they, I was growing up, we had to be in the house at eight o'clock. We had to be in the house when the lights came on. But they do and have a curfew. They, they just got in. They do have a curfew. They just have to enforce it. Well, they need to. The police need to stick to their job and start enforcing it. Maybe help these kids won't be the way they is today. Well, you, it ain't the police fault, is it? It's the parents, it's the police, it's everybody. Now, how is it the police? Tell, tell me how is the police. I need to know that. Because if a kid's supposed to be in the house at a certain time, there's no way the police should ride past and let, allow them to be outside still. Escort them home where they're supposed to be. Okay. Okay. Now, do you realize, do you live in Chicago? Yes, born and raised west side. Okay. Do you realize that we are understaffed? When I say we, the police, the Chicago police... You may have 15 police to one district. And so they prioritize, I'm sorry, I guess that pretty word, the calls. So if you got a person get shot 
and on the way you go into a crime scene, you see a little teenager, it's 1230 at nighttime. Do you stop and deal with him or you go to the crime scene? So it's so you much. Go to the crime scene. That's you what I, go to the crime that's scene. That's it. But it's. Well, I understand I what up, you're saying. I understand. Our neighbors whooped our ass. Yeah. But we live in a different day. See, all us older folks, and include myself, back in my day, we didn't do this. We didn't do that. This this is a different day. This is a different time. You got you got you got people do things different. I mean, it's different. You know, a lot of people believe that the government said you can't whip your child. The government never said you couldn't whip your child. You just could not leave a bruise on them or beat them. Never said True. that. So I don't know where True. they get that that the government said you can't whip your child. You better beat them, beat them kids. <laughs> Leave it up to me. I'm going to beat their behind. But uh, anything else, sister? Because I got another call. Anything else? No. God okay, bless thank you. God bless you. Live on cut. Come on, caller. You know what we're talking about, right? Yes, I do. I just feel like the parents are getting high with their kids, and they're afraid of them now. And we have no more big mother's house, so that's the problem. Okay. Do you think uh, uh, absent of the father is some of the problem, too, as well, with some of these teenagers? Somewhat, yes. Okay. All right. Now, you would think... You got thousands of teenagers downtown Chicago. Quite sure it was on the news. You shooting social media. Wouldn't that stem any parent, any concerned parent, to call your son or your daughter to see if they're okay where they at? Tell them to get away from downtown because there's too much going on. Yeah, but they're afraid of their kids nowadays because they're too busy trying to be their friend. Hmm. 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 That's the problem. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. Thank you so much. All You're right. Welcome. All right. Live on cut on edit. Come on, caller. Hey, I was calling to comment. Come on. Come on with it. And I really think that it's all of our fault. Okay. As a village, there are no more villages. You can't tell these kids nothing. The parent going to fight you for telling their kids something. These kids are learning it from home. They see how these parents handle conflict, the lack of handling conflict, and they act out what they see. Okay. Now, let me ask you a question. I hear I, everybody, we, we dissecting the problem, the symptoms. Do anybody have any solutions? I really feel like... Um, if everybody to be outside of resources, because like the other caller said, there are multiple resources. One summer Chicago is up. All the restaurants are hiring. These kids not trying to go get no get no job. Okay. This these people, you got nieces, you got nephews, you got cousins. If everybody partook to their own family and dealt with their own family. That's the start. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm taking the next call. No Thank problem. you so much. Live on cut. I needed it. Hello. Live on cut. I needed it, caller. Go ahead, caller. You live uncut and you unedit. Hold on, caller. Hold on, caller. Go ahead, caller. Go ahead. Go ahead, caller. What's up with you, Martin? All right. You know what we're talking about, right? I know what you're talking about, Martin. Come on with it. The problem is, man, a, a, a lot of these parents are being friends with their kids instead of being an adult and, and, and parents to their kids. They need to let them know they're not their friend. But what they do is they sit there kicking with them and smoking weed with them and shit. They can't do all that. So when they go outside and do what they do, they do. Okay. You, okay, let me ask you a question. Can you give me some solutions, how we can help this problem? What you think? Yes. The solution we need to do is right now. Yeah. We need to start charging these kids as adults because they know they kids and they can't they get away with everything. As long as they get away with everything, they're going to continue to keep doing what they're doing. Okay. Now, let me ask you another question. So, in other words, you want the children be to, uh, to be charged as an adult. So, you want to mess up their record. And hell, they hell, hey, they 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 killing people like they're adults. They taking people lives like they're adults. Okay. 
So let them do, if they want to do the adult plan, let them do the adult time. Okay. Okay. I hear you. Thanks, bro. Appreciate you. All right. All right, caller. Live on cut. Come on with it. We blowing My up. Because I've been on. I know. Come on, baby. Come on, talk. Come on with it. Come on I with am it. A, I am a parent that one, of, that one of my kids is down there. The fact is, I didn't know she was down there. But I got a call that she was going to jail because she was one of the ones jumping on the police car. So my thing about it, I just with a couple of callers saying that this place, when COVID can't go, it, it's just the thing, the word is called. The trend been going on for five years to say now, and it, it's not because of COVID. I just wish for some of those people, those other people been on your line talking about blank. No, mind you, no person. I did not know I'm sick, and my daughter is 15, and I had no idea that she was down there. And not only that, I'm not a parent. I get high, so I'm not a parent that. Relates to my kids like I'm their son. Mm -hmm. I never been so they some of those callers are so rough or something stuff. But my thing about it, that when they speak on, let them get charged as a adult as a felony. You don't have to be an adult to get charged with a felony because I had a son that got caught up in it when he was a freshman, but he graduated out of high school last year. This is how long so this trend been going on. But unfortunately, he came out on the book of the okay. kid because he was not caught on camera. He was he was downtown with them, but he did not do anything. And the camera showed that. But he had a felony at 16. Okay. And, and a lot of these people don't know what they stand on your life. Okay. But I was so I was so pissed off. When when they called me and told me she was going to jail, and I guess what I said? I said, "Oh damn well, I'm not going to pick nobody up from eight feet because they said she was jumping on." But come to find out, she was not the one. They had her mixed up with somebody else that was actually jumped on top of the police car. Okay. But anyway, she shouldn't been down there anyway. Are okay. you down there with the ish? I feel like this. I'm not gonna pick up no damn by let let DC affairs go pick them up to say mm -hmm. because they are the ones that turn these kids into be the way they are, the way they act because they give the parents, like okay. I said again, okay. for everybody in the background. I am 56 and I still have a 15 year old, and they give them this knowledge to think they can run over the parents. Okay. That's that's DCFS problem. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm not the type of parent. All right, so, you so know, I don't I don't go for none of that. I listen to uh shy uh uh chimes. I was on his thing, his life. While all this was going on downtown. Right. It's it's crazy. Yeah. I, I disagree oh, with something oh, Okay, just, sister. Let me let somebody else I'm get not, on. I'm not the type of parent. So okay. everybody can keep blaming it on Okay. Y'all heard her. All right, sister, I'm going to get somebody else. They got a call. Okay. All right. All right, caller, live on cut, unedited caller. Where you calling from? Hold on, caller. Hold on one second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's... Hold on. All right, caller. Where you calling from, caller? Chicago. Come on, real quick. All right, this is Jay from Chicago Gives the Violence Director. Yes. The problem, you know what? I think we can repair this, I believe. I believe if Give we me some solutions. Curfew, go, go ahead. curfew for downtown for teenagers because they have them in malls um, after 8 o'clock or 7.30, well, they, can, they can no longer Well, it got to be for just downtown only. It could be well, in the neighborhood too. Don't just pick on, yeah, let downtown be saved. We want to be saved too. Go ahead. I understand well, what you're saying. Go ahead, bro. Well, we got we got to start somewhere, and that's oh. a quick solution for downtown. Okay, okay. You know, neighborhoods I haven't worked on yet, but downtown, downtown, that's a quick, quick, 
quickly fixed. Well, downtown, you got, well, all together, you got one murder down there today and uh, five, but what, about six six people shot so far today? Downtown yep. Chicago. Yeah. This is what's happening. And you talk about million dollar condos, two million dollar condos, three million dollar condos, half a million dollar condos downtown. You talk about people that's paying fifteen hundred dollars for a studio, three thousand for a two bedroom. Well, this is what we're talking about downtown. Yeah. Well, well, really a curfew would solve all that very quickly. Okay. All right. That's it, bro. That's it. Bro. Oh, thank you so much. Live on cut on that, caller. Yeah, how you doing? Hold on, caller. Just hold on one second. Hold on. I got somebody else calling in. It's 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 overwhelming because everybody want to talk. I need some solutions, people. I definitely need some solutions. Hold on. All right, caller. Go ahead. Where you calling from, caller? I'm from Chicago. From Chicago. Come on, brother. Do you know what we talk about now? I was down there. I was down there with my babies right on state. Okay. Okay. I was right there with my babies. I was right. I was riding with uh my two year old daughter. She's up. My two my two month old son when the shots got fired on state. Okay. okay I had to turn bust a U turn. Okay. This is my solution. My solution is they need to open these schools back up. Stop shutting them down. Open these boys and girls clubs back up, and show these kids there's more than just these grown grown dudes on these blocks thinking this money. It's good for them to go buy Jordans to floss for these girls when they go get a, a good education and, you know, and just do better with their life. Like on Netflix, they got with some girls, them little girls locked up doing all these drugs. Hey, we need to open a facility for these little, these little kids, these little boys, West Side, South Side, all that. I grew up in the projects. My mother raised five boys. And out of all my brothers, I'm the only one that got shot. I got shot in my face when I was 12. We grew up in the Lakeland homes on mm. Diversity and Clyborn and Damon, mm -hmm. where the Lang Kings were at. Right. Okay. Two of my brothers went to the feds. I learned from that. I, the, the, the gangs messed me up. I started gang banging. You know, and I don't want that. I got tattoos on my chest that I, I'm trying to get off. But right now, I don't have the money to get it. I'm going to get it. But what they need to do, look, I just turned 40. Put it like this. Okay. I got no felonies. I thank God my son opened his eyes. It took me a long time on Chicago Avenue. He looked, they just killed his girlfriend's uncle by the gas station. And everything's waking his eyes up. Now he got a good job doing his thing. His son does more than that. But they need to open like facilities back up where these kids got somewhere to go. Because some of these parents, no lie, are probably cracked out, alcoholics and stuff like that. So they need to open doors for these kids to have somewhere to go. If they got nowhere to eat, nowhere to sleep, no I mean, of course they're going to go to these dudes on the block that's going to think, oh, I'm, I'm going to sell me a pack. And um, I'm going to sell me a pack and give me a pair of Jordans, give me something to eat. No, there, there's other things to do for that. But if nobody's showing no guidance, especially from home, of course somebody on the block will cuff them real quick. Come on, shorty, I got you. I was one of them. Mm -hmm. It happened to me. It happened to my brothers. My brother called a 10 murder police over also when he was 16 years old. Mm -hmm. Did nine years. A year later, the feds hit the project, locked all the all the kings up in '96. You know, so I mean, I learned from it. I got I got seven kids. My two babies are with me right now. My other kids are grown, mm. but I still make sure they're good. Don't hang out with son. You it, forget, dude. I, I they that's right. They need to go to these blocks and start locking these older dudes up, giving them kids them little packs. They're not giving them the guns because the kids are selling them packs to go buy their own guns, so they can't lock them up for the guns. Mm -hmm. So, and then, I mean, some of these parents are doing what they can do. Some of these parents got to work two, three jobs right. just to keep the rent, bills, and, I mean, mm -hmm. look at the gas prices and everything. Mm -hmm. They're making it hard on some of these parents. Right. So we can't blame, I'm not blaming no parent. Right. Because if something was to happen to my son about two, three years ago, I'm not going to be on the news and be like, oh, my son was an angel. He went to school. No, because I knew what my son was doing in the streets. So some of these parents be out here, oh, my son's an angel. Grandma's like, you know, your son was out there hanging with the wrong crowd, whatever. They need to open stuff back. Mm. Well, okay, brother. Thank you so much. I hung up, y'all. I'm sorry. I, I didn't hang it up. And y'all come on, call back. The line is open. Live, uncut, unedited, people. Live, uncut, unedited. Chicago, down, downtown Chicago. All right. I know you've been calling for a while, caller. Hold on. Hold on, caller. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, caller. Go ahead, caller. 
calling? Up, bro? Where you calling from? Man, South Shore. Oh, bro, what's up, brother Baton? Come on with it, bro. Hey, man, you know that movie, uh, Don't Be a Menace While Drinking Juice in South Central? Oh, yeah. You know what that old lady said? What these little young children need? Tell me. Nothing that a good ass whooping. What? He said nothing that nothing that a good ass whooping wouldn't help. Don't you? Something like that. Hey, brother, brother Batar. <laughs> now, now a lot of these, some of these young folks ain't never heard of whooping, so it's too late for them. What you gonna do with the ones it's too late for? Ain't no fear. Hey. Ain't no fear. Oh. Send their ass to the motherfucking penitentiary. Excuse me. They need to go to jail, bro. Brother, is that the only they solution you got? What else? Hey, what else you got? Um, if, if you out here murdering and you get caught, I think, man, you should get prosecuted and you should get the uh, death penalty in your damn self the next day after you prosecute. Now, that's extreme. It's either jail or, mur or you need to be... You need to lose your life too, man. If you out here murdering, and that, it, it, what what other solution is it, bro? I, I, that's you what I'm here. Don't, I'm don't here lock for. Them up. I mean, listen. I, I ain't never say don't lock them up. I'm saying, why is it that the only solution that we always say? And we got we. Hey. That's why I mean that's that's all I'm saying. What can you can we come yeah, up bro. with something else too? You know. What what else is it, bro? I, I'm trying to find out. That's why I got the line open so I can hear. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to find out. Oh, I didn't hang up, people. I didn't hang up, y'all. It hung up, people. Call back. I did not hang up. My hands are free. I'm sorry. I didn't hang up, caller. Yeah, hello, caller. I didn't hang up on you. Go, go, go ahead, caller. They need to send these kids to military camp. Okay, I need you to turn your uh, Facebook down, too, because I hear it. Okay. Turn it down so you can talk to me. You can always go back and listen okay. to yourself talk. Okay, go ahead. Okay. They need to what? They need to turn these kids into military camp. They need to all go to military camp for discipline. Well, why can't the parents discipline? Uh, they out there hanging with them. No. Some of them don't have parents to discipline. That's the problem now. They need to send them to military camp. Okay. For one year. Okay. Hardcore military camp. Okay. All Not right. prison, but military. Okay. That's okay. That's it. I'm going to take this That's my time. solution. Okay. Thank you so much for your solution. All right, caller. I didn't hang up on nobody. He hung up by himself. Go ahead, caller. I was, all right. I wanted to say this. Everybody's talking about putting these kids in jail. A lot of people don't realize that a lot of your kids don't even, don't even, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Don't listen. You ain't got to feel nervous. Speak your, take your time. Because you sound like you're a teenager and I want to hear from you. Go ahead. I'm going to give you all the time you need. Go uh, ahead. So I kind of know what's going on. Uh, okay. A lot of these kids is being raised by their parents. And right now, economy is being hard on not just parents, but kids as well. Mm hmm So... These kids are out here trying to help their parents, but they're not going about it the right way. Oh, okay. I agree with so, Get these kids back active. We need to get the we need to get the street back to how the community was. I remember when we were growing up. Whatever family years ago. Do me a favor, young lady. Put your uh, take your uh, mouthpiece. Uh, put your mouth close to the phone because you fading in and out. I want to hear what you got to say. Can you now? I can you now. Put it on close to the uh, thing so I can hear you. Okay. So I can hear you. Let me turn this scanner down so I can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. I remember years ago, we had curfew going downtown. I'm actually from Chicago. Okay. We had curfew years ago where it was police officers 
downtown in them stations making sure these kids get home. Them beaches was, you couldn't even stand on them beaches after a certain time because they had officers pushing us off the out of the sand, out of the water, and go. Okay. You need to be on that train. We need to get these community, the, the Boys and Girls Club, get the schools back up. E-learning is great for people who are sick, but these kids don't need to be out of school every other day for nonsense. Mm -hmm. These games, this is all stuff from this music and stuff. We need to go here and get back to how it was in the 90s when we had encouragement to do better. Okay. We don't even have encouragement no more. That's a good one. I didn't even think about it. You're right. We don't. You're right. I, 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 that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. Okay. All right, young lady. Thank you so much. And, thank you. All right. Bye bye. Live, uncut, uncut, unedited. Go ahead, caller. Well, I would like to speak on. I, hold on, caller. I, this person called me 20 times. Hold on, caller. Don't hang up. They okay. hung up. They hung up. Go ahead. They hung up. Let, go ahead, caller. Okay. What I have to say about the kids today, sir, is the kids today don't have no respect for them fixing one. Okay. And instead of trying to get their life together, they rather take a life. And the parents of today, Instead of schooling their kids and whatnot, as I've been hearing from other parents and people and whatnot, they're trying to be their friends. And you can't be their friends. They got to learn how to give respect to earn respect. Uh, and there's no respect in this world. Uh, okay, brother, do me a favor. Give me some solutions, what we can do. Okay. Well, now, the only solution is today. But the ones that are out there, there's no pulling them back in. So we got to worry about the kids that's coming up to school now. So the grandparents that that are raising the kids' kids in the now, they got to put a strong hand on them and keep it on them. Like my mom used to always tell me, I'm going to put my foot on your neck and keep it on there until you. Respect me. Okay. Until you um, get respect, to give respect, this world right now is, is done. Okay. So you can do something to put it back in if they learn like I did. My oh. mother had me going to church. She, she made sure that I was in school. I had a curfew. And today, kids are right now. Uh, all right, brother. I got to go to the next call. Thank you so much. All right. All right. All right. Live on cut, unedited. Come on, caller. Yo. Come on with it. Hey, I want to say. I, I need some I solutions, brother. I, I, we know what the we know what the sick sickness is. The symptoms are. I need some solutions. How we can make this thing better? Come on. I'm gonna listen to you. Come on. Yeah. The solutions is. They need love. They need care. They need people that by their side. You heard that, even people? Though, even though they're doing all what they're doing, it, it's it's still not. It's not. It's it's still not like like it's messed up that what they doing. What they doing, but they still need people by their side to be there. Like everybody ain't got no daddy. Everybody ain't got no mama. So they they listen to certain people that's around them. And them people that's around them need to talk to them more and be there for them. Like, and, and then with with the jobs, like, they need more jobs out here for these kids, too. Right. You feel me? Yeah. Now, that's the best thing you I heard it. all day. The man said, the young man said they need love. That's the best yeah. solution I heard all day. I ain't heard whoop them kids, beat them kids, put them in boot camp. Or right. I did ask for solutions. But that, that brother that said. Do nothing. They don't do nothing. They make the kid more wild. I got, I, 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 I ain't too old, but I'm getting that, and I got a son that's 13, uh -huh. and I ain't too old, and I don't whoop him. That whooping don't come. That whooping don't do that. Being that for him is what it is. Really. you gotta be there, care for them. 
Mm-hmm. But that's what I want to say. Okay, thank you, brother. Going to the next caller. Thank you. Live, uncut, unedited caller. Come on with it. My name is Damani. Hey, Damani. As Dumont. a teenager from my point of as a teenager, I'm the only teenager I guess on your live. Okay, come on, talk to me, brother. I'm gonna give you, you. I'm gonna give you all the time think, you need. Just tell us what we I need think, to know. I think, as a teenager from my point of view, and from adults' point of view, teenagers they want to have fun. They haven't been outside, but also as teenagers, I feel like it comes from home. And they need more diversity in their life. They need more peace. They need places that they can go. They need places that they can feel loved and everywhere they can go for peace. Mm. And as adults, like my mom, I used to get whooped. I, pr- I st- probably stopped getting whooped when I was 12. I learned to respect my mom. I know places where to go. I know where not to go. I'm mature. The person my mom has made me today, I feel like I have a bright future ahead of me and I feel like I can help a lot of more children and teenagers in Chicago and this also made me a little bit cry up because like tear up because some children and some teenagers don't have that much guidance in Chicago so they don't know what's wrong or what's right and you just gotta be there for them even if you don't know them if you see them doing wrong at least try to get them on the right track in life because a lot of these children out here could be something in life if they have the right path to guidance. Mm-hmm. No matter you a, a random person they've seen on the street, the uncle, the auntie, the cousin, the mother, the brother, the father, the sister, one person can change their life anytime. Okay. Man, this is a young man, young man. He's a young man. And did y'all hear what this young man said? Now, listen, we always we always give them solutions and stuff like that, but let's hear what they have to say. And this brother's speaking. He's speaking. Me, Go ahead, brother. And, and me, from my point of view, I'm just looking at everybody downtown. I, I, know I got some friends downtown, matter of fact. I'm just looking. I'm just like. We could do better than this. We we are better than this as the youth of Chicago, as the future of Chicago, as the future of the earth. We we could do better than this, and we could help ourselves. We could help our parents. We could help America if we could just do better than this. If we could put our mind to it, and we could get a little bit of support and on the right track, we could do better. Wow. Wow. Well, young man, I want to thank you so much. Okay. Keep. Thank you too. All right. Keep listening. All right, thank you. Live, uncut, unedited. Come on, caller. You finally made it in. Yes, thank you. How you doing? Thank you for your persistence. The line is blowing up. It just won me, and I'm trying to get everybody in. You know, everybody got a different story to tell. Come on, talk to us. Come on, talk to us. Okay, I'm just going to say that there's someone out there who's setting this all up. It's giving these kids some time to meet up and do this. And our mayor and our government need to do is find out where all this is coming from so they can start working on that to try to work with the parents to try to get these kids in order because they're being enticed. They're being enticed. And it's not all the parents out there because, you know, they're not. Because these kids have a man of their own. But in, in, as parents, we can't give up on our children. We have to give them hope. Mm-hmm. And so, so it's a lot of things that are going on, but I'm sure that it's not just the kids from Chicago. These people are coming from all over and bringing these kids here, and it's like they said enough to make Chicago even look good. Right. And we're going to find a solution. And the solution is they need to find out where all this is coming from. Who is bringing up these programs where all of these kids have to meet here downtown? You know, something is going on, but the governor and the mayor need to up on top of it, and you can't blame all the parents. There's a lot of parents out here who are doing real good to try to keep their kids going, but yet they're getting turned around from whatever else is going on out here in the street or from social media okay. and stuff. So I think if they find out where that is coming from, where everything is coming from, and uh, I'm sure that if they find out where everything is starting to come from, where they're setting up these groups to meet up at, and then they can go from there to help find a solution to these kids because these kids are our future. And yes, they if they're going to be our, our future, we're going to be in trouble. Yeah. That's not that okay. But I know a change can come, but it's going to take the governor and the mayor to step their feet up 
okay. find out what is going on along with the parents. Okay. Now, I can't blame the parents. I can't blame all the parents because all the parents are not in fault of what has happened with these kids. These kids have their own mind. Yes. They have their own mind. But we as parents cannot give up on them. I oh. do know that. Okay. Well, you thank know. you. I got to take the next call. Thank you, ma'am. You're thank welcome. you so much. All right. All right, you made it in, Carl. I know you called about 20 times. Come on, Carl, to yeah. talk to us. I need some solutions now. Come on with it. I'm calling all the way from... I'm calling all the way. Carl, you breaking up. You got a Bluetooth or something on or something? You breaking up. No, I said I'm calling all the way from Texas. Okay, I see. I see what... It, okay. All right, so talk okay. to us. Give us some solutions. Okay. okay, here's the problem. These kids are now... Have no respect. Nope. Okay. We we know all that. I need some solutions how we could correct the problem. The solution is, it's uh, it's, uh we need to work together and uh, get get involved. Get involved. Okay. The old school, Brother, involved. do me a favor. Your phone is like fading. I don't know if you on an earpiece or what. I need you to talk directly into the phone because we're recording okay. and I'm here to clear you. Go ahead. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you loud and clear. Go ahead. Okay, well, we need to do to have the old schools go out there and try to interact with these kids. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. volunteer. Okay. So you said, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go get no, I'm just, I'm just I, I want to repeat what you said. So you said the older school, old school people should go out there and interact with the younger people, right? Correct. And okay. You know, because the other thing is, is respect. You get what I'm saying? Right. As you know, it's not a black white issue. It's an individual issue. Okay. You see what I'm saying? And okay. yet you're not saying fucking the church. It's sad. The church don't get involved. Okay. All right. And you know what you're doing, man, and I just want to say live on one minute. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, brother. Okay. Gotta go. All right. Thank you. All right, live on Cut Unedited, caller. Where you calling from, caller? Yeah, I'm calling from Chicago there. All right, I, I don't, listen, I need some solutions, brother. Talk to me. Yeah, I think these, some of these kids, they need they need hands-on things, like, you know, like vocational school, like, you know, learn a trade or something, work with their hands. You know, uh, they, don't, they, ain't got no, they ain't got no vocational schools no more. Okay. Learn how to teach. You know, teach uh, auto body and mechanics and computers and stuff like that. They took all the schools away. Now okay. these kids ain't got nothing to do. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for your solution, brother. Thank you. Peace out. Thank you. All right. All right, caller. I need some solutions. We know what the problem is. I need some solutions. Come on, talk to us. How you doing? They need to set as an example. And when I say as an example, it's more to the world going on than to kill and oh. not be Okay. Hold hold it, hold it. Hold it thought right there. I need to ask you a question. Not really a question. Are you on a headpiece? Earpiece? No. Okay, because you fading this. Keep your mouth close to the phone because I'm recording. I want everybody to hear you clearly. I want to hear what you got to say. Come on now. Let's try it again. Come on, talk to a sister. She hung up. Okay. Live uncut, unedited. Caller, where you calling from? Chicago. What's going on, Mark? All right. I need some solutions now. Come on. Let me hear it. Okay. Now, here's, here's what I want to say. Um, well, for one, I feel like one of the main solutions is there's too many grown adults doing nothing and partying every weekend, right? Okay, that's a, kids that's a problem. I need a solution. Kids. Now, what are we going to do? Hold on, hold on. Okay. okay. Hold on, hit, hit me out. Hit me out. If his kids get a shot every weekend, what are we partying about? So the solution is stop partying. That's one thing. Stop partying. Start getting involved with these children. When men stand up, boys sit down. It ain't no men out here right now. All the men are on the sideline, and they scared of these kids. You can't be scared of these kids. You got to be ready to engage with these children. Remember, you the adult. 
That's mm-hmm. first. And that's law. And law always has been um, protect the children, protect the women, protect the elderly. What happened to that? Mm-hmm. It's gone. Okay. So that needs to come back to the community. Okay. So the black men need to stand up in their own community. Ain't nobody going to change nothing in our community but us. Okay. Plain and simple. So we need to stop partying. The men need to stand yeah, up. Partying too much. Yeah. What, 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 what are we partying about? Yeah, we partying every weekend, every day. We doing the same old. Excuse my friends. We are doing the same bullshit every weekend. We going to these clubs. We listen to this music. Talking about murdering people in the music, and you think something gonna good pop out of that? Nah. Mm-hmm. You mixing too much spiritual shit in there. You mixing. You mixing um, dead souls in your music right. with liquor. Right. Come on, man. We gotta stop that. We gotta. I stop mean, it's that, cool man. to party and all, but. We too far in the hole to be partying. It's time to get down to the nitty gritty. All all right, brother. I got to go to the next call. Appreciate you. All right. All right, now. All right. Live, uncut, unedited, caller. Come on, talk to me. I need some solutions now. Come on. Okay. The solution would be for these children to get around some adults who love themselves enough to have the capacity to love their own children. Okay. I like that word, love. If you don't like the fruit, kick the tree. We're talking about these children as if they sprouted up from the ground like they're not even connected to us. You would never hear another group of people talking about their children in the matter that we're talking about ours right now tonight. Woo! Uh-oh, y'all hear that? Y'all, did y'all hear what she said? Tell the truth. You will never and shame hear the anybody devil. else talking about their children as if they're separate from them in that way. They mm. need to be around people who love themselves enough to love their own offspring. Mm. Nah. We've learned how to hate ourselves and in turn how to hate our children. It's the hate that hate created. Mm. They're responding in the way that they've been treated and the lack of love that they, that they haven't received. Mm. Let, me, let me ask you a question. I like that word love that you use. Now, I'm quite sure there are some teenagers listening to this live feed right now. Some are listening, some are watching, and I'm wondering, they're probably, what, what, what's their mindset of all these comments that we're saying about them? And I don't hear nothing too good. You're the second person that said something real good was love. Number one, love, 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 love. They need it. That young man got on there, he's a teenager himself. Said, you know, we got to stick by him. We need love. They crying out. So a lot of times we make decisions for our children, but we don't give them no input. We don't allow them to tell us what they want or what they need. Okay, go ahead, sis. I'm sorry. I just it had, it came over me. No, no. I, I, agree. I agree with what you're saying. It's just hate, 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 hate. Do this to him. Whoop him. Lock him up. Yeah. You will never hear mm-hmm. anybody else give those kind of solutions. And, and that's why I'm deal saying. deal with the issues that they have in their community. And, and you know that's what, sister? That's what we learn from our oppressor. Yeah. How to hate one another. Sister. That's where we learned that from. All I hear black people say, lock them up. Lock them up. Listen, right. we who got is, so many black men all around. The United- own, well, hold on. Who we- advocate for their own children to be locked up? Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Yeah. Thank you, Mom. I got to go. I got to get the next call. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, caller. Live on cut. I needed it. What's up, big bro? I need some solutions, brother. Come on, talk to me. I know, we know what the problem is, but we need some hey, solutions. Bro, the, solution, the solution is me. The oh. solution is you, bro. The, oh. the, Bible, the Bible lets us know that the, that the harvest is plentiful, but the labors are few. Yes, sir. So we need to get out and work with our young brothers. We need to get out and work with our young sisters. It ain't no positive male role models in the communities like that no more. So if you're an uncle, if you're an auntie, and you see your nephew or your niece going astray, yeah, the auntie might be, your mother might be a crackhead, the mother might have issues and problems, but you got to go and reach out and grab that young brother, that young sister, and lead them in the right path, in the path of righteousness. You know what I'm saying? We living in the, in the end times right now. So these shorties ain't scared of nothing. 
we're living in the last days. So the solution is to snatch these shorties up, put them on a the path of righteousness. You know, the world let us know that broad is the road that leads to death and destruction, and narrow is the path, uh, narrow is the path that leads to life everlasting, and only a few find it. So these shorties trying to find their way, but they need help. And yet, we live in a day and age where the music, the internet, the, the, the social media, all that stuff is, is desensitizing our shorties to evil, and these shorties are lost. So it's up to the individuals that know what's going on, the individuals that know and already been through it, to snatch these shorties up, put them on the path of righteousness, and help these shorties find their way because these shorties out here lost. I'm from Jeffrey Manor. I grew up with no positive male role models, but I thank God for saving me, and I thank God for positive individuals in my life that helped me get back focused so I could see the light. Appreciate you, brother. I'm going to leave it right there. You said a mouthful. I agree. Everything you said, I believe you. God bless you, brother. Bless, bless you. Bro. Mm-hmm. All right, call. Live on Cut Unedited. Go ahead, caller. Yes, sir. Um, right. I need some solutions got- now. We know what the problem is. We need some solutions. Come on with it. Okay, the solution is this. At this stage in the game, you know, what I think should happen is that we should put more emphasis on the kids that's out here trying the kids that's going to school, the kids that's uh, respectful of their elders and everything. Because uh, as far as I'm concerned, a lot of these young kids, they are lost calls. I hate to say it, but that's the reality of it. Some of them just want to be out in the streets. They want to go and harm one another and carjack and loot. And um, they're putting the whole community at risk. You know, these are the kids that, uh, carjacking black folks and selling drugs to black folks and everything. And so that's something that, you know, we need to let the authorities handle and uh, take some of these resources and put it towards these good kids out here. We never we never really talk about the good kids. You know, we know that this problem exists, but, you know, we need to start looking at these kids out here that's actually trying because they could be being stepped over. Right. Well, can I ask you, you know, a question, brother? Yes, have, you ever, have you ever did anything wrong when you was a teenager? We all have. I have. Yes, I have. Okay. So if didn't nobody reach for you, you probably wouldn't be where you at in life right now. So in other words, my point is, even though you said we should concentrate on the good ones, and I agree with you and speak more highly of them, but the ones that's not doing so well, they need to help most. The ones that's doing well already, they on track. The ones that's not doing so well, carjacking, game banging, selling dope, snatching and grabbing, they need our help, brother. They're okay, the ones true. that need us. Well, I will say this. I won't cut you off. Go ahead. Off, go, no, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Okay. Now, my thing is everybody got somebody to go home to, whether it's a grand, grandmother, grandparent, an uncle, an auntie, an older brother, whatever. Okay. Now, what helped me along was I did so happen to have a mother and a father there. But more than that, I had a good mother and a good father. Now, okay. you had that. They don't. Some right. of them don't have that, though. Right. I See? understand that. I understand that completely. But just as sure as when I stepped out of the house and I went to school, or I went to the candy store, or I was involved in, in playing baseball and this and that, you had mentors all around you. Mm-hmm. So it's really your perception as a kid. I mean, you know. If, if you're the type of kid, you know, stay from you play baseball or whatever, and you got the coach over there, oh, this guy's a good guy, you know, this and that. You're going to gravitate to good people. If you want to do bad, you're going to gravitate to bad people. You know what I mean? Brother, so, I, I understand okay. what you're saying, but hear me yeah. out, brother. Okay. Why say, we don't have to focus a lot of energy on the good ones that's not robbing, stealing. They on course. They on point. They doing what they're supposed to do. The ones that's off course, that's the one that we need to be trying to save and persuade to come over to the good side. That's all I'm saying, brother. Don't give up on I, I, I ain't I ain't chewing you out now. Like I'm just saying, I don't want us to give up on the bad ones. Cause you you got some people that was terrible when they were teenagers. Did a lot of bad things, but now they are prosperous, they are role models, they've changed. But just think about if somebody would have given up on them, you know, exactly. I understand that. that's all I'm saying, brother. I agree with you saying you made a great point, 
more focus on the good ones, but the good ones on point. They on track. It's like a parent. It's like a parent. Right. It, it, now, it, my thing is, my thing is this: is that uh, we all have choice as long as we got both of our yes. in our lungs. We have a choice. Yes. You make choices when you say five years old and up. Yes. Okay. So. Yeah, at the end of the day, if you, you want to improve or you want to do this, you want to do that, then you're going to go and do it. It don't make a difference, you know, who's at home or who you're around. You're still going to choose what Bro you want to do. Brother. Now, from what I see, hold on now, from what I see, a lot of these kids out here, they choose this lifestyle, whether it's for money, whether Bro it's for clout, whether it's for whatever. Brother. It's they con con it's a conscious Bro decision. Brother. Okay. Brother. Brother, I'm just saying. I'm no, just saying let, now. let me let me help you out a little bit now. Let me help you out All a little right. bit. I'm it's called influence, brother. Everybody's not influence. a listen. Everybody's not a leader. Some people, it's like you born in a certain neighborhood. You live say like we're just. Well, I'm going to make an example. You got Cottage okay. Grove. We'll just say I'm gonna give you a street. You got the east side and the west side of okay. this particular street. Now, if you're on this side, you might be under the five. If you're on this side, you might be on the six. Even though you live on the six side, you're not none of that. They put you, they make you in that. The area claims what you are. So what I'm saying, man, we, a lot of our young people are victims of circumstances. We didn't make this place safe for them. That's why they're having all these problems, brother. The older Sorry, folks. What? They didn't actually so come here. Go ahead. Okay, none of us have to come here, but are you saying that we don't have a choice as to what we do and what we don't do? We victims of some, Yes, yes, some of us. We Hold on. First of all, we're talking about teenagers. We're not talking about I adults. I was a teenager. Uh, you was a teenager, too. Uh, okay, let me, just, uh, let me just say that. A teenager don't think like no man. I'm just telling you that. They don't. They have okay, a childish mouth. So we can't we can't expect children to act like adults because no I'm not I'm not I'm not saying that what I'm saying is that we just have these are basic choices okay these this is basic stuff like okay if if, if you go to high school let's just say you're in high school right when you get up in the morning and you leave the house you choose whether you go to school or you don't. That's a conscious decision. Yes. It's that simple. It comes down to that. That's my whole point right there. Okay. Now, we got kids. Hold on now. Hold on now. Now, we got kids that are high school age, like these kids that was at Millennium Park. Okay, granted, it ain't school hours. Okay? But I was I was a teenager 20 years ago. When I was that age, we were doing stuff like playing video games and this and that and the third. Because that's what we wanted to do. We that, chose that, to do that. Listen, that was... Hey, hold on now, hold on now. No, no, I ain't hold no on hold now. on, brother. You, you listen. I'm the man here. I'm you listening. call in. Okay, right. you listen up. All right. Hold on. Okay. Now, that was 20-some years ago. We live in a different day and time, brother. This is different. These young folks are different. That's what... This is what we pull down. Well, back in my day, I did this. We did this. They don't want to hear that. This is a different day and different time. You got children don't want to go to school because they don't have Michael Jordans. They don't want to go to school because they're afraid they're going to get teased because they don't have enough clothes or they don't have nowhere to lay their head. You know, or their mother is a crackhead. She got different men. I mean, it's so many different elements that our youth are facing. And we, as parents, man, we are lost. We don't, we listen, most of us don't even tell our children we love them. Most of us don't even okay. teach our children correctly. What we do is we buy them everything that we didn't have instead of teaching them everything that we don't know. We buy them the mics. We get their hair done. We get their lashes. We allow them to get tattoos. We give them allowance. We give them the latest uh, gym shoe. This is what we do. We shower our, because that's our own. But mm -hmm. what are we really teaching them? I'll tell you what they're teaching them. Go ahead. I tell you, any parent that does that, what you're doing is you're spoiling these kids and you're giving these kids a false sense of entitlement. And then when they get too old or too big and the Jordans cost too much for them to buy, then what they're going to do is, well, I'm only 12, 13 years old. My mom and them ain't going to buy me no mic. So guess what? I'm going to go out here and start arm robbing. Mm -hmm. 
See, because they value system, they was taught to value these things as a youth, all the expensive stuff, the Jordans, and then all the name brand, blah, 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 blah. So they won't get teased in high school, okay? So the value system was embedded by the parents, whether that's the mother and the father, the mother, whoever it is. That value system was started at home. So as far as solutions, what needs to happen is we need to change the value system. See, money is God with black folks. Some black folks, not all. Money is God. That's wrong in itself. Because if you do anything for a dollar, you ain't got no problem robbing those seven-year-old ladies or, or, or shooting this one or shooting that one, shooting their own people. Talk to you all about a dollar. We need to change that value system among our people, and that starts at home. Okay. So as far as solutions go, solutions are going to start in the home. All you, it, it ain't about mother, father all the time. All you need is one good parent. She could be a good mother. Now, everybody going to say that is but the proof is in the children. Now, if, it's some, now, if you say you a good brother, mother, brother, hold brother. On, hold, I ain't no hold, hold on, on, brother. Bro, ain't no hold on. I ain't no hold I'm on sorry. now. Now this 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 live on cut and edit. Now I'm gonna yes, say sir. this. I let you talk long enough. I'm gonna let you get a little, another minute out. Then I gotta go to the next caller. Go ahead. I'm not even gonna comment. Go ahead. I'm gonna let yes, you sir. get out. Then I'm gonna uh, go to the next call. I gave you enough time. Go ahead, brother. I'm gonna give you a chance to talk again. Go ahead. All right. By the way, I love this show. I watch you a lot. Appreciate and... you. <laughs> okay. Now all I'm saying is, long story short, is that the value system is messed up from the home, and that the parents. Shouldn't give up on the kids. The parents do need to do better. They need to change their values. They need to teach them about more than getting money. Okay? You need to teach them about education. You need to teach them about finances. You need to teach them about their environment. You need to get them out of that environment and get them in the real world, mix them with other people. That's what needs to happen. You need to occupy, get these kids' minds occupied in the things other than rap music okay. and stuff like that. All right. You need there's so much stuff going on in the world. A lot of this stuff is free. Okay. I mean, you can go online. And All right, brother. That's it. Thank you so much. I'm going to go to the next caller. Thank you so much, brother. Appreciate you. No problem. All right. All right. Live, uncut, unedited. Caller, where are you calling from? The south side. I'm calling back, Martin. I'm sorry. The other solution is we need a, a community with courage, courage to fight against the powers that be that have our children in the predicament that they're in and not be cowardly and blame the children. The children are victims of this society. They're born into this. Mm. Have enough courage to fight the powers that be that have created this situation that we're in and stop blaming the children. Because I'm going to tell you, a lot of y'all, this is the way y'all sound to me, that y'all hate children. That's what it, that's what it sounds like to me. A lot of these comments that I'm hearing, that I'm reading, it's like, Y'all hate the teenagers. And if I feel that way, they probably feel the same way too. I'm telling you. There ain't nothing but, I'm not talking about you, sister. Ain't nothing but hate on here. It's just hate, 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 hate. That's all I'm saying is hate. That's why I'm asking you guys for some solutions. Solutions mean your idea. Listen, people. Every teenager that was down on Millennium Park today, down on downtown, don't have both parents, probably don't have no parents. they just out there, probably living on the trains or in the shelter. We don't know, you know, we, we say at home. Some children don't have no home. They land whatever they can lay and doing whatever they got to do. They got to rob, steal, cheat. That's their natural instinct. That's what they're going to do. Now, do that make it right? No. Am I telling them to go out there and do it? No. People... That young teenager got on his life. He said, y'all got to help us. We, we need love. The other says, we need love. That's what they need. The brother, I wasn't trying to disagree with the brother. We ought to focus on the good ones, but the good ones on point. We need to focus on the ones that's all point and bring them to. That's all. Bring them apart. That's all I'm saying. Don't give up on these bad teenagers. Yes, some of them need to be locked up. Yes, some of them need their butt whooped. Yes, some of them need to be disciplined. And listen, above all that, majority of them, all of them need to be loved by somebody. I'll say that. Go ahead, sister. I'm so sorry. I, I had one of my moments. Go ahead. I agree. I agree 100%. Mm. That's what it is. Oh, I'm just hearing the human nature of each and for our own children. Right. Mm -hmm. Nobody. Mm. And so in terms of forget that what we've given. Uh, 
Hello? He must have hung up. All right, he must have hung up or something, huh? Hello? Yeah, let me get some of this here, man. Go ahead, come on. Hey, look, this is what these kids do. You know, I'm from, you know, I was born in the way from the south side. You know what I'm saying? Inglewood, 53rd, that you need to build. Okay. Out of these wells. Then I moved to the west side. You know what I'm saying? We came from the ghetto to doing, you know, doing something good. Like, you know, so we had a good family. You know, grandmama, he had a um, best friend. Got strong out on drugs. Uh, come on, bro. I need some so solutions, man. Come on with the solution, brother. Come on with the solution, man. What we need to do is start respecting them and showing them love. Okay. Great with respect. that. Respect. How you going to tell them to respect when you ain't respecting your kid? Mm-hmm. You walking around the house smoking blunts, doing stuff around kids that you don't supposed to be doing. You walking around Netflix. You walking around talking about who go see who, who go who go do this and do that. You know who go get money doing this and doing that. You can't do all that around these kids. We need these kids to um to to get jobs. We need them to um have 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 places where they can talk to people to let them know what's going on in their lifestyle or what's going on at home. That they have no control of. We need these, okay. you know, a lot of these kids on drugs. Uh, brother, hold on, hold on. Let me address somebody in here. Franklin McCloud, I think that says. Martin, you said, listen, first of all, I've been carjacked before. I'm not, I'm only, not only a father, I'm also a grandfather. And the same people that you think that I'm uh, trying to take over might shoot me, of course. That can happen. Yeah. That can happen. Yeah. That can happen. Yeah. That's that's part of life. Some people could be misguided. You know, everybody's yeah. perception is different. Listen, some of you have the same thought as the white man. Lock them up, throw away the key. You don't hear them having no talks about their children. You don't hear no. it. Nowhere. No. We no. the we the only race of people hate our children and hate ourselves. Again, I say, thank God for all the wonderful teenagers that's on point. Good for them. But Martin, what about... Say something, Martin, say Go ahead, brother. Hey, Martin, we need more activity for these kids. Yeah. They had TV land back in the day. They had fun town back in the day. We need things, you know, for these kids to do and let them know this is where they can go in college, you know, high school if they play basketball, football, baseball, you know, so their parents won't have to come out their pocket, you know, get scholarships, don't hang with the wrong people. Some of the wrong people will be jealous of you. You know, the, the good got to wrap the good and the bad, go do what they go do. Got to stay away from the bad. So we need more good kids out here that feel they can reflect a positive, a positive Energy to someone that don't even know better. Oh, okay. Gotta even better. You know what I'm saying? We can bring some of these young guys in. Hey, come. brother. Guys, I need got, help. I got to go to the next call. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Thank you. All, All right. right. All right, call. I need some solutions. Caller, where you calling from? Yes. I, yes, I'm calling from the I'm calling from the South Side of Chicago. Okay. I, yes. Uh, what I what I feel is that at this point things are not gonna get any better. Okay. They're gonna get worse. And the people that see this, they should probably get their family and their children that want to do better and get as far away from the situation as possible. It's not gonna get any better. It's only gonna get worse. Okay. No. Sorry. It's and, and it's, I'm not, and I'm, it, that may sound negative. Okay, well, true. let me ask you a question. You got any solutions how it could get better? I mean, these people these people are lost. They have to want to do better. Sitting around saying, what programs can we get for the youth and things like that, these people are lost. And so, if anybody got any sense, you would get as far away from it as you can. I think that's cheating. That's cheating. Well, you're going to lose when the bullet goes through your head. Yeah. Well, listen, let me, let me just say this, sister. Let me just say this. The easiest thing is two easy things you can do. 
you can run or say lock everybody up. Those are the two easiest things that you can do. And we all, you know, we t human nature, we gravitate toward easiness. But let me just say this, sister. So we ought to just let everybody kill each other, madhouse, don't say nothing, just get out close and run. Now, I believe in but that. how can you stop it? How can you stop it? That's what, that's why we're here. We're asking for solutions. You know, listen, if, if we run, it can run behind us and come follow us. If we, if we move out the hood, now look at downtown. Downtown probably was known for, for one of the safest places in the city of Chicago, Lincoln Park downtown. Now look at it. You had six people get shot, one dead downtown. So and that's and that speaks and that speaks exactly to what I'm saying. When mm -hmm. six people are getting shot downtown at this point, it's beyond well you know, trying to fix. It, it, it's beyond it's time well, to move get away from it. Well can I ask you what community you grew up in? The hundreds. The wild hundreds, roses. I'm gonna say roses. We call it the wild hundreds. Do you think roses is any better than when you left there? Or if you still there, do you think it's any better? I think it's worse. Okay. Why do you think that? Because these people are lost, and they're raising their children all wrong. Okay. Okay. They don't want to do better. Now, now the point. For, something to change, for people to do better, you have to want to do better. You have to have a desire to do better and have more. Okay. You can't I, can't. I can't sit back and want something for you. You have to want it for yourself too. Okay. So in the midst of me wanting you to do better, I'm gonna die instead of taking what I know and my family and getting away from it. I think it's just time for people that got sense and want better to separate themselves from it because it's not gonna get any better. Fifteen, ten years from now. It's going to be way worse than what it is today. Mark oh. my word. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Appreciate okay. you. All right. Thank you. All right. All right, people. The line's open. I'll take a couple more calls. Live on cut. I needed it. Live on cut. I needed it, people. I appreciate y'all tuning in. I had that. This is probably the latest I ever been on, but oh, wow. This is super late. Um, almost two o'clock in the morning. We're here, but this is live, uncut, unedited. Any more calls? I can take some more calls, and that, that'll be it. If not, we can just end this session and go tell your young folks, your nieces, your nephews, your sons, and your daughters, and your grandchildren, and tell them all. Go give them a hug. Love on them. Love on them. Love on them. Live, uncut, unedited caller, where you're calling from. Um, I'm calling from Seattle, Washington. All right, come on, talk to us. Give us some solutions or something. We yeah, need some help. Um, Go ahead. I think I spoke in the comment mm -hmm. a few times. Okay. And um, I think one of the things I want to point out in my last comment is that children are not born bad. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing I want to point out in terms of parenting, and so at the onset of pregnancy, I do believe that it would be helpful for parents to all be connected with parenting classes mm -hmm. because parenting is one of the hardest jobs and it's actually the least recognized job. Mm -hmm. And then also it's a job that you don't necessarily get paid for, but society benefits off of it, mm -hmm. whether it's positive or negative. Mm -hmm. So I think one of the things is connecting parenting classes uh, for parents to be able to learn becoming a parent and also the development and changes within your body as well as within your child. So there's all these different stages of development that many people don't understand. And then so the other piece of that is for parents to have the option to be able to stay home with their children from birth to five years old. That is the most critical time period for development of the brain and as well as the nervous system and so also to nurture and to love. Mm. But if we keep kind of selling this point of like work, work, work outside of the home, telling children that they also need to work, but we don't necessarily promote being a family, 
as well as centering love and care and understanding. Mm -hmm. Our kids will always kind of have this sense of, I am a byproduct of something, but not necessarily connected. Mm -hmm. So I would say that really centering parenting and making it a priority and giving parents the option to choose in terms of learning how to be a parent, because it is a very difficult job that many people don't understand. There's no job manual. You kind of get thrown into it. M mothers have postpartum depression. There's so many other components. And also, if you think about a parent who has a child with a disability, and you don't understand what your child is going through, there's a lot of frustration. And then there mm. also can be a disconnect that can happen. So learning your child, mm. but also learning how to be a parent. And so, yes, some of us have been afforded to have grandparents as, as well as parents to teach us, but there's a lot of new parents who don't have that. And so if we really try to center love and care through nurturing and giving more options for parents to be able to figure out how to navigate this course of parenting and learning how to do it and not feeling that they're going to be criticized or if they make a mistake and that the fact of the matter is you still have support. And so just society realizing that they benefit when you have positive parenting and support, but also society also benefits when it's negative. And so we could say that to the criminal justice system. So you hear a lot of people say, incarcerate them, lock them up, who cares? They have done an injustice, so they must pay the, you know, pay the crime. So that's one of the things I would say. So to me, looking at a solution is really getting to the, the layout of, of parenting and connecting resources at the onset of pregnancy. Ooh. So that's what I have to ask. Wow, what is your name? <laughs> I'm Barbara. Barbara, well spoken, well understood. I mean, you just blew my mind open. I was like, wow. You said I, I couldn't even cut you off. I was, you know, I was like, wow. Thank you so much. Thank yes. you so much. Yes. And I've been in this work. Mm -hmm. I, I work in the field of education and advocacy, mm -hmm. and I've done it for years. And I've just worked with a lot of families, a lot of young people. And often it just really starts at the root and you only do what you know and wow. what you don't know, you won't do. Wow. Make sure you call so. back again, Barbara, because you was, you, you, just, you laid it out tonight. I'm telling you, you laid it out tonight. I mean, you well, are. I see appreciate you accepting my call. Yes. I, listen, you broke it down where if you didn't understand what she said, you really lost. I tell you, she, she broke it down. She didn't blame nobody. She just broke it down. What in the way of solutions. And that's what I'm talking. I had to go back and listen to this again. Remember what it said. Okay. Almost an hour and a half. I got to go back and listen to this. Thank you so yes. much, Barbara. Don't make this Definitely. your last time. And thank call. you so much. No thank problem. you so much for creating this forum for thank us you. to be able to thank share in the community you. to figure out solutions. Thank you. That's all I want. Thank you. Have a wonderful you, morning. You too. You too. Bye. All right. All right, caller. Come on, one more caller. One more caller. If you didn't get a chance to call in, call come. Man, she does. I'm telling Barbara broke it down, y'all. That sister broke it down. Woo! My goodness. She broke it down. That was a great solution. We all can point out what the young people ain't doing. They doing this and that and they're doing that. All right, call alive, uncut, unedited. Where you calling from? All right, come on, give us some solutions, brother. Okay, before we get the solution, let's find out the problem. Okay, how well, we know what the problem is. Go ahead. No, no, how does all these kids meet up together and all come at the same time to downtown? Okay, parents need to step in for their kids' action. And the law needs to change. The gun law needs to change. There's a lot of people coming in with a gun and they're out on probation, house arrest, income monitor. Same guy who came out on income monitor. A month later, two months later, he's back in for a murder or attempted murder. So give them a slap on the lips, it's not going to work. Mm. So we need to stop all the stuff. I mean, I mean, it's getting worse. There's a lot of company left downtown. 
And guess what? What's going to happen? We're not going to have a job. Wow. Well, can, can I ask you a question, sir? Yes, sir. Um, you live in Chicago? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. You live in Chicago. I used to work in downtown. Oh, okay. Downtown. Okay. All right. You know. Not, not anymore. The business got burned. It got looted twice mm -hmm. and got burned and they shut it down. That's it. No more business. Wow. Sorry to hear another job. I'm no, it's fine. I mean, I'm not the only one. Right. I mean, I mean, we started talking about a big company, and right. you got Boeing. It's leaving Chicago. How many people is going to have a job? A lot. Okay? I mean, the mayor needs to, someone needs to step in. Someone needs to do something. Having people in and out of the jail on the street, mm. there's, there's a big no. Having okay. people with guns, little kids with uh. guns on the street, that's Well, let, let, I just want to say this to what you said. I mean, I, I don't protect criminals, but criminals do have rights. But let me just say this. In the America justice system here in America, you are innocent until you're proven guilty. Now, only time they won't give you a bond is with murder. If they do give you a bond, it'd be a high bond. And don't get me wrong, brother. I, I lived around violence just about all, practically all my life. If you lock up a person that has a gun, get caught with a gun illegally, we're not just saying he's shooting it on the... They have to give them a bond. They have to. It's just the law. You know, it's just, it's the law. It's the law. So we can't blame it on certain politicians. They didn't make the law. The law was here. The law, it was here before these politicians got into office. I'm talking about politician Lori Lightfoot, Kim Fox. They didn't make that. They didn't make the law. And I'm not blaming them. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Those politicians turned around and said, the government, life foot. Oh, we need to build south side. We need to build the north side before we even look into downtown, which is good. They, they came in the office. Did anyone look into the south side or north side? Yep. Well, the north side get that stuff now. They get money on the north side. They, yeah, they... they're good. I mean, it's a little bit better than the south side. Oh, yeah, way okay. better, way better. I mean, See, at least you guys can walk outside a little bit up north. South side, man, we have to we have to look up sideways, both ways, up and down before we come out. But North side got to look. You guys have your problems up north too, so I'm not saying that you guys don't have no problem. But it's worse on the south side than it is on the north side. That's There's all I'm saying. Buildings from the last looting, it's right. still um, it's still banned from the fire. Hmm. Business been banned from the looting, and no one's gonna open anything anymore. Yeah, the, honest... the mayor is like, I don't care. One company leave, there's a hundred company coming. Yeah. She's in Texas today. Yeah. Why the whole thing? Yeah. Last time she brought the National Guard. After what? After the whole mess was gone, and she brought it to protect the tank, mm -hmm. not the people. Come on. Wow. Well, all I can say is. I'm not a Lori Lightfoot fan, I know. but I, 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 I didn't vote for her, be honest with you, but I don't throw her under the bus because I, I didn't, I was familiar with Lori before she came mayor. So I didn't think that she would be a great mayor and come to find out I was right. But I'll say this about her. Y'all go to the polls, you know, the polls are coming up. You can vote out if you don't like her, you know, just vote out. Do you know, vote your conscience. That's all I'm going to say. You know, I ain't going to throw under the bus, and I'm not a fan of hers. I respect her as being the mayor, but I'm not a fan of hers at all, at all. I'm I'm just going to leave it right there, brother. <laughs> I appreciate you calling in. Hey, Martin, can yeah. I call you tomorrow that number? I don't want to talk to you on air. I want to ask you on something. Yeah, yeah, you can call me back on this number. Yeah, okay. Okay, thank all you so much. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, callers, thank you all so much for staying up with me late, late, early in the morning. And trust me, I got to get up early in the morning, but I made this sacrifice because, y'all, you know, that's what I do. I love people, love people, and that's what I do. I make sacrifices. Sometimes the people that you love might take you out of this place, but it, it goes with the territory. Thank you so much, people. This is live, uncut, unedited. Thank you for all your comments. Um. Just thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just come up with more solutions that we can make this place a better place, a safer place. 
not only for us, but for our teenagers. And we have to point them in the right direction. And above all, we have to show them love, display love. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, young teenage, for calling in. Thank you so much. And I want to thank all my guests, but those, they stood out. They stood out to me. Thank you. Live, uncut, unedited. Good night, everybody. Peace out.